Hi everyone, we are going to talk about multi-image steganography. We are a team of four, I, Mansi Anand, and my teammates Abhishek Das, Japsimal Singhwahi, and Yugant Rana. So, what is steganography? Steganography is the technique of hiding a secret message within a public message, such that no one, apart from the sender and the receiver, suspect the existence of the secret message. It is very important for internet security, privacy, and other fields. A very famous example is when you write with invisible ink on a paper. It has been used in world wars. To explain this process better, as you can see on the right, we initially choose a cover image. We embed secret messages inside the cover image. Once this embedding is done, it is called an encoded cover image, which is passed to the retriever. The retriever then retrieves the secret messages. In this entire process, this encoded cover image is supposed to exactly look like the same to avoid suspicion. So what do we want out of this project? We aim to extend steganography in the image domain to hide two or more images in one cover image. We aim to retrieve cover image with minimum loss and keep the encoded cover image domain as original as possible. So traditionally, steganography utilizes the significant bit to add the secret image to the cover image. This introduces susceptibility by which many statistical analysis can be done to retrieve the secret images easily, which is a flaw for us. Therefore, we introduce deep learning as a technique where we can add noise to the concatenated secret and cover images. Some of the previous works include a paper from Baluja, where he has introduced single image technography, where a single secret image is added to a cover image and then retrieved. Another contribution includes that of Kruel, which also includes Professor Bhiksha in the similar field by introducing steganography in audio signals where multiple audios are, are added to a single audio and then retrieved. Now we start with our approach and the pipeline. The first aim for us was to successfully implement single image steganography, similar to the Galuja's paper. We then extended this to multi-image technography by using a concatenated set of secret, secret images and a cover image to get an encoded image which looks similar to the original cover image. We then pass this to multiple decoders to get each set of secret images. We're using here tiny ImageNet as our data set. Coming to the model architecture, we are using three different CNN architectures for the prep network, hiding network, and the reveal network. Each of these is a three layer network with 50, 10, and five layers. As you can see, each of the secret image is passed through the prep network and then is concatenated with the cover image. The concatenated image is then passed through the hiding network to generate the encoded cover. The encoded cover is just similar to the cover which was initially passed. This encoded cover can then be used in the decoder network to generate the decoded secrets. As you can see, there are different reveal networks for each decoded secret. For the evaluation of our model, we are using two parameters. The first is the human perceptible loss, according to which the encoded cover should be similar to the original cover for a human. And the, the decoded secret image should be similar to the input secret images. For training our model though, we are using mean squared loss as a loss metric. For the reveal network, we are using the mean squared loss only for the secret images, while for the encoded network, we are taking into consideration both the secret and the cover images. For implementation, we have used two secret images and passed it through our model. We were able to successfully retrieve them. The figure shows cover image, secret images, encoded cover image and uh, retrieved secret images. Next, we did the same to hide three secret images. The retrieved secret images look similar to the original secret images to a great extent. However, as you can see that the uh, encoded cover images are more glossy as compared to the case where we just had used two secret images. Coming to the future work, we can also use con conditional decoders instead of multiple decoders. We plan to increase number of secret images that we can hide into the container image, keeping the loss as low as possible. 
Also, here we have used visual inspection as a primary metric. We aim to make our model more robust so that even a security software would not be able to detect. Thank you.